Did you know that almost all the gold discovered today did not originate on Earth? Instead, it came from meteorites that hit our planet 200 million years after it was formed. Gold, an element that has fascinated humans for millennia, is not just a symbol of wealth and power, but also a cornerstone of the global economy. With an industry generating almost $200 billion in revenue annually, gold remains a highly sought-after metal. The journey from the ground to gleaming bars involves a complex and technologically advanced process. From identifying potential gold-bearing areas to the final refinement stages, the transformation of raw gold into bars demonstrates human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of value. So how is it made? The quest for gold begins with the meticulous identification of potential gold-bearing areas. Geologists and mining companies conduct extensive surveys, prospecting, and geological studies to pinpoint regions with promising gold deposits. This search may involve analyzing geological maps, conducting soil sampling, and employing advanced techniques like remote sensing or geophysical surveys to locate these elusive deposits. Most gold comes from load deposits, also known as vein deposits, where gold is concentrated along with other metals in the cracks of rocks. Once a potential gold deposit is identified, the site is prepared for mining. This preparation includes clearing vegetation, constructing access roads, and establishing necessary infrastructure like camps and facilities. These initial steps are crucial for setting the stage for the mining operations that follow. The extraction of gold-bearing rock, called ore, involves hard rock mining, which is a labor-intensive process requiring drilling and blasting to remove the ore from the earth. Specialized machinery and equipment are brought in, including long-hole drill rigs and mucking machines to assist in this initial phase of gold production. The raw materials, essentially the gold-bearing ore, are then ready to undergo a series of processes to eventually be transformed into the pure gold bars that symbolize wealth across cultures and economies. After extracting gold-bearing ore from the earth, the initial processing begins with crushing and grinding the ore into smaller particles. This preparation is crucial for the subsequent chemical reactions and extraction processes. A mill pulverizes the ore to the texture of beach sand, increasing the surface area for the chemicals to act upon. The factory then introduces a water and cyanide solution to the pulverized ore, further grinding it into a mud-like slurry. This slurry flows into large settling tanks, where the heavier wet solids sink to the bottom, separating from the water. This stage involves a critical process called aeration or air agitation. Workers transfer the wet solids into an agitation tank and introduce air, initiating a chemical reaction between the cyanide and the gold trapped in the ore. This process, known as leaching, triggers the gold to dissolve into the surrounding water, forming a gold cyanide complex. The efficiency of this process is paramount as it determines the amount of gold that can be extracted from the ore. The slurry, now enriched with gold, is sent to drum filters for filtration, separating the gold-laden water from the solid impurities. This phase is vital for concentrating the gold and preparing it for the next steps in the purification and refining processes. The initial processing sets the foundation for transforming raw gold into a form that can be further refined into the pure gold bars that hold immense economic and symbolic value. The enriched gold-laden slurry undergoes a series of meticulous refining processes to extract pure gold. The precipitated gold, extracted through the drum filters, still contains impurities and is not yet ready for the market. It enters the smelting phase, where it is subjected to high temperatures in a furnace. This process separates the pure gold from other metals and impurities present in the alloy. The intense heat causes the denser gold to settle at the bottom, forming door bars, a semi-pure alloy of gold that marks the transition towards purity. These door bars, containing gold and other metals, are then sent for further purification. Electrolysis or chemical leaching processes dissolve the door bars, meticulously separating pure gold from the remaining impurities. This stage is critical, ensuring that the final product meets the stringent 99.9% .9 purity standards demanded by the global market. The pure gold is then cast into bars, each stamped with its weight and purity. Each bar is carefully handled with gloves to prevent any smudges or corrosion from direct contact with human skin. 
They are then wrapped in high-quality protective materials that safeguard against scratches and environmental elements. The packaged gold bars are sealed and labeled with all pertinent information, including weight, purity, and a unique serial number for tracking and authentication purposes. This information serves as a certificate of authenticity and quality assurance for buyers and investors. The bars are then placed into secure containers ready for shipping. The final packaging and secure distribution of gold bars encapsulate the culmination of a complex process of transformation from raw ore to a refined investment commodity. Each bar's journey from the depths of the earth to the vaults and safes of its final holders is a remarkable testament to human endeavor in the pursuit of value and beauty.